What's up guys? We are gonna do another salmon video tonight. I've already done one I showed you guys, but we uh, came across this recipe and I wanna share it with you guys. It's freaking amazing, so let's do it. Now it takes a lot of seasoning. We got a lot of stuff here. We got salt, onion powder, chili powder, black pepper, cumin, and paprika. So what we're gonna do first is mix all this up because this is what we are gonna rub our salmons with. And I am not as good as Heather, I do not measure. That looks good to me. So we got our onion powder. Our chili powder. Our black pepper. Our cumin or cumin or and our paprika. Now I'm gonna do some salt. And we'll mix all this up together. There we go. This is what we're gonna rub on the salmon. We got our salmons, we got our seasoning. And we're just gonna put a very healthy dabbing of course I'm a mess when I cook all right we got our salmon seasoned we got the seasoning on there we're gonna set that aside we're gonna get our pan preheating I got it set at 400. I'm gonna let that start preheating and we're gonna use a little bit of coconut oil. Along with a little bit of ghee. Give it that coconut buttery kind of taste we've got our pan preheated gonna add the fish in one by one and these are kind of thin pieces so we're really gonna have to watch them because they cook really really fast One thing you want to watch is the sides. You'll watch the color. You can see the color starting to change right there. Once it's a little past halfway is when we're going to flip it. All right, if you see down in there, or a little bit over halfway, same on that side. So we're going to go ahead and flip these. My favorite part is the skin when it's crispy. And I'll let her have my skin because I don't like the skin. We'll let it cook on that side real quick. Let that seasoning get cooked into the meat real quick. Probably cook it on this side for a minute. Then I'll flip it back around again and let it crisp up the skin a little bit more. And then I'm going to show you the, the most amazing part that we add to this. The seasoning already does a phenomenal job to the salmon. I love this combination of seasonings, but wait till you see what we got in store for you. <laughs> oh yeah. Now we'll let it finish up real quick. See a lot of that 
oil got cooked up into the, the salmon. That, that coconut and uh, ghee mixture is, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Looking and smelling good. Our fish is all done. We are going to take this off the pan. Plate number one. So this one's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to have to cook this one a little bit longer here. <clears throat> when I broke it apart trying to get it out of there, I seen that it still had a lot of pink in it. So Thicker the fish is, the longer you will have to cook it. Make sure you cook it all the way through because you do not want to get uh, sick from undercooked fish. Alright, that thicker piece is already done. I took the skin off of it because I don't like the skin on mine anyway. Now we're gonna close, uh, cover these up with aluminum foil so they stay warm and Heather's gonna cook her side dish. All right guys, so I'm gonna make our side to go with our salmon. I'm just making a super easy side of some green beans. This is so easy to do. I'm sure you all know how to do this. I'm gonna start with a half a cup of beef broth. Usually you use water, but I just had a little bit of beef broth left that I wanted to use up. So that should give the green beans a good flavor. We'll just put that in there. We want to bring that to a boil. All right, so our beef broth is boiling. So I'm just going to add my frozen green beans. And I took these out of the freezer about an hour ago. So they're a little bit thawed. I'm going to do the whole, the whole bag. Once we get that in there, we're going to stir and then let that come to a boil again. There's a lot of ice crystals in there, so it might take a minute for that to come back to a boil. We are boiling again. Let's just give this a quick stir and we are gonna cover this with our lid. Let this simmer for four to five minutes. We got five minutes on the timer. All right, so it has been five minutes. I'm gonna turn that off. All I'm gonna do now is just drain off what liquid is in there. Drain, drain, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Put it back in the pot. And we're going to season this up with just some salt and pepper to taste. And I've got a new butter I'm going to season it with that I found. It's the Kerrygold, which is still a good butter, but it's a garlic and herb butter. So I thought that would be really good to get to um, put a little bit of different tastes to some dishes. Look at that. Mm, that looks good. Well, yeah, it does. All right, so we're just going to cut off a little bit of this. Mix that in there. Well, I'll just set it on top, actually. We'll let it melt. put the lid back on just to keep that heat in there let that butter melt and we'll let Jason show you the creme de la creme for the salmon topper we got our uh, side dish cooked up the green beans with the garlic herb butter that looks awesome <laughs> got our fishes that have been wrapped in the aluminum foil now we are ready for our topper now what really makes this dish, I think, is the seasoning, all those seasonings mixed together, then this stuff. 
this stuff on top. Oh my goodness. And it is guacamole. Now you can use chunked avocado, you can mix up a guacamole, whatever you prefer. But the flavor of the guacamole and the fish is absolutely awesome. Mm. <laughs> you taste testing it? How's the guac? It's good, as always. I mean, we love avocado. I think avocado is probably one of our favorite fruits. Earlier, before Jason started cooking the fish, I actually mixed up the guacamole really easy. I used two avocados and a packet, a season packet, a guacamole mix season packet, which this is the first time we've used it. I did add some onion as well. So how does it taste? Oh yeah, it's good. It's good? Yeah, I love the seasoning that. Green beans are really good. I love green beans, but you can you can use any side dish you want. You know, green beans are just one of our go-tos that we like. Now you can see I got so much avocado on there, you can't even see the fish, but it's under there. <laughs> I, I promise you, we do have fish on there, but quick and easy dish that you can make on the truck this is one of my favorite ways to cook the salmon the combination of the seasoning with the guacamole to die for I love it hope you guys liked the video give it a try if you do let us know in the comments what you like uh, if you liked it it's a phenomenal dish great easy to cook in the truck till next time we'll see you guys peace love and expediting <laughs>